Hello, brothers and sisters. So again, I, I want to highlight just how pathetic this world is that we're currently stuck on before we exit. Um, I want to have a t-shirt made that says stop the world. I want to get off because I'm way past that point. Um, if you look at how anti-Semitism has risen everywhere around the world and the Israelis are regularly pointing it out to everyone in first world countries everywhere openly and the United Networks does nothing about it. They don't have anything to say. They're not stressed. Neither does the EU. Neither does the US. Everybody's quite fine with it. Just like everyone was quite fine with it at the beginning of World War II, which happened to be at the beginning of a Shemitah cycle, which was a type of what's about to begin now, also with the extermination of Jews taking place. So interesting. Also with a supreme leader that wanted to rule the whole world and all those things. There's a lot of parallels. But instead of worrying about anti-Semitism and the world's feelings towards Jews and Christians on the large whole, this kind of article shows you how confused, how mad and how crazy clown world has become. Your EU has concrete plans to combat anti-Muslim hatred. Hello. We're talking about the same Muslims that's burning France marching in Greece, calling out their war cries and openly saying that they're going to destroy these countries in revenge for colonialism. These same Muslims that are taking over all these first world countries and destroying them and setting themselves up and openly doing their thing in violence. No, there should be no Muslim hatred. That's what the EU is focused on. Not focused on protecting their people sorting out the immigration crisis and starting to realize they've got a bigger problem on their hands. No, no, combating anti-Muslim hatred. The European Union has concrete plans to combat Islamophobia. Marion Lelis, the new EU coordinator on combating anti-Muslim hatred, said on Thursday. Lelis sounds like a snack who was appointed to the position on February the 2nd, held a press conference in Brussels and answered questions. She highlighted that the Muslim community in Europe is the largest religious minority, with diverse numbers, percentages and origins among member countries of the Union. However, the key point is that the Muslim community in the EU is an integral part of our society. How else? Would you have open fires in the middle of streets and buildings when you need to have a braai or a barbie yeah, or a grill? We propose the preparation of a document by mapping the phenomenon of hatred against Muslims. Never mind mapping the hatred the Muslims have for everybody else. Everybody who doesn't believe in the Quran or their prophet. Asked about concrete plans to combat Islamophobia, referring to the Quran burning incident in Sweden. They burnt one Quran. How many Bibles have they burnt and destroyed? She said, firstly, we will mainstream policies to combat anti-Muslim hatred in various sectors, such as education. There you go. Security, migration. It's up the migration. We still have some buildings left and unemployment areas. We will maintain dialogue with various institutions, civil society, actors for the programming, citizens and international organizations. We will implement evidence-based policies and raise awareness among citizens and institutions about the phenomena of Islamophobia, she said. So, people, what they're saying is, if they're coming to your neighborhood in Europe and they're burning down the buildings and torching the police cars and attacking people, why don't you pour some cool drinks, run out there and help them out? I mean, they must be tired. Ask them if they need some more matches. Maybe, you know, give them your Bibles. This is the world you're living in at the moment. And yes, I might sound extreme, but it is ridiculous what's going on at the moment. And I just, I can't keep quiet anymore. This is crazy. Crazy. People have lost their minds. And that is why the United Networks and European Union and all these governing bodies are crazy not to be trusted with anything. I wouldn't trust them to make me coffee. I wouldn't trust them to pour me a glass of water. 
because they would mess that up too. Fortunately, I trust in the promises of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, who is coming back to fetch us very shortly. Hold on. Shalom.